I'm the Disc Golf Guy, and this is my video blog. Brought to you by DiscNation.com, one nation under par. I'm joined today by Johnny Rumble, PDJ number 2540. We're here in the Disc Nation winner circle, and kind of a unique scenario, we got Johnny Rumble, who took down the Masters Division at the Leave It to Beaver 2 yesterday, and uh, would have done quite well in open. Rumble, what, uh, explain why you play where you play. In the Masters Division, uh, it's age protected, one. Uh, I haven't been playing as much uh, in the last, let's say, 18 months. Uh, so I feel I, I'm in the right place right now. Which is perfectly fine. Uh, not too many people have the luxury of being in their mid-40s and still be able to show up. And on any given weekend, you can hang with all the boys in open or you could uh, go take down the Masters field. Chris Heron was the winner yesterday. Uh, we're shooting this a day after because there's so much stuff going on and Heron shot a 40 and then followed up with I think a 47 and you were just a couple strokes off that. Two strokes off. Give everyone uh, maybe some keys to your success out there, uh, somebody at home looking to play a, in a tournament. Uh, the key to my success is uh, I try to enjoy my round. Uh, I could tell you in the past that as much as I wanted to win, everybody wants to win, uh, if I'm not having a good time. Uh, it doesn't matter even if I'm winning it's really hard it's difficult to win you've got to be mentally in the right place at all times that's driving approaching putting there was uh, a lot of wind uh, out there yesterday that changed a lot of shots I was gonna say one and of the consistent themes I'm gonna interrupt real no. quick one of the consistent themes we saw a lot of people throwing putts hitting top number plate hitting side of the basket roll aways all that stuff uh, did any of that impact you? Did you have any of that luck or I, bad luck? Uh, I had uh, one bad hole, uh, my only bogey of the day, uh, which hit the side of a basket on a hole 14. Uh, if you remember, you got to throw over the water. Uh, it hit the side of the hill and it rolled about 45 feet away. Uh, you know, that's the way it goes. Uh, I didn't even try to go for the, the next shot. I just put it under the basket. I'll eat the four, I'll make up for it, which I did, I do the, the next hole, so yeah, that's how it goes. And that's kind of a professional tip, Johnny Rumble's been playing for 20 plus years. You take what you can when it comes to you, the birdies sometimes will go for you, sometimes you get a bad break, you gotta just uh, ignore that and move on with a positive attitude for the next hole. Right. And uh, we're gonna be showing you all sorts of footage, some good and some bad, as we saw all the action out there. It was a little bit windy, and that definitely was playing in, although you came out with a couple of great scores. Uh, so we're going to touch now on a PDGA rule that we've seen implemented for 2011 and uh, well why don't you set up the scenario for what happened to you a few years ago at a tournament. All right, uh, I was practicing for the uh, Northwoods Open that's up, held up at uh, Sandy Point Disc Golf Ranch and Resort up in Lac de Flambeau and uh, on hole 24 it's, it's uh, let's say a 300 and some odd foot hole. I threw it and it ended up in the basket just like this. Wedged in for what wedged, wedged in. everyone would consider an, an ace, right? Yourself included. Absolutely. And uh, we came over, we took some snapshots, and uh, you know, we were hooting and hollering, it's all great. But now, you told me this morning. <laughs> that's, uh, that's not the case. Here in 2011, the PDGA, rule, uh, PDGA has had a few rule changes, one of which is the wedge into the front of the basket. So. At the time, that counted for him a couple years ago, but now it no longer would count. And so let's clarify, if a disc comes in, as he explained, and it comes in by the front of the basket and it wedges in, it no longer counts. However, the one stipulation to that this year is, if a disc comes in regular, or as it should, into the basket, but then your group can verify that it came in and then was wedging on its way out, then it would still count. I know that's kind of a goofy clarification, but they're saying that it basically came in, you completed the hole, and we wouldn't want to penalize somebody for the force or whatever on its way out. So, 2010, a wedge counts. 2011, a wedge from the outside does not count. So, no good. So that's a little bit of everything. We've got uh, your Leave It to Beaver Open 2, uh, Masters, Masters champion, Johnny Rumble, PDGA 2540. We've got yourself a new PDGA rule clarification for 2011. And we've got a great sponsor in DiscNation.com. Please go out and support them. Purchase from them. Tell them the Disc Golf Guy sent you. 
Damon and Disc Nation supports the Disc Golf Guys, so we want to support them. And with that being said, well, Rumble, how do you usually log off? Mahalo. And Rumble and T-Dog out. <laughs>